wonder about programs the city is working on to make San Francisco the best place to live, work, and play? On this show, we bring some shine to the most innovative ideas brewing within our city departments and the people making them happen. Join us for an exclusive look at what's next inside this episode of What's Next SF. Ah, San Francisco. Known for its landmarks, history, and beauty, this place arguably has it all. But its city government is also pretty unique. In fact, San Francisco city departments are filled with truly innovative programs that are impacting the city in really tremendous ways. Our goal is to create programs that are easily digestible, that are easy to follow, so that our residents can participate in healing the planet. With the new textile initiative, they're getting awful close to their goal of zero waste by the year 2020. And today, San Francisco is diverting over 80% of its discards from landfills, more than any city on the planet. And while these numbers are impressive, they're not quite enough. We are still um, sending over 400,000 tons to the landfill every year. Um, and of those 400,000 tons, 20,000 are textiles. Items such as used clothing, unwanted linens, and old shoes no longer have to be dumped in the trash. Luckily, SF Environment has found many outlets for these items. IECO, which stands for I Collect, they have part, are the ones creating the partnership directly with the retail um, clothing stores. And they're putting um, in-store collection boxes right next to the checkout stand. So when customers come to the store to go shopping, they can bring their used clothes of any brand to those stores and drop it off. And for added convenience, textile collection bins will become accessible in apartment buildings throughout the city. The other partnership has been with Goodwill, and we have a zero waste grant with them for them to design a textile collection box, especially for multifamily settings. Goodwill, the well-known thrift store, has been making great strides for our environment and our community. We're very thankful for people who donate clothing and other household items to Goodwill. The funding for all of our job training and placement programs comes from us selling those items in our stores. But that process uh, also helps to divert uh, more than 21 million pounds of things from local landfills every year here in the Bay Area. And Goodwill's textile collection box is going to take them one step further in their efforts of helping San Francisco reach zero waste. So the Go Bin is a new bin that we have designed and are manufacturing, and it brings the donation opportunity right to the donor, making it as convenient as possible. The Go Bin is going to be one of the solutions to make sure that we're capturing all the value in those textiles and they're not going to waste. With the help of Goodwill and other businesses throughout the city, San Francisco aims to eliminate 39 million pounds of textiles from the landfill next year. And SF Environment is confident that with this collaborative effort, our actions can and will make a great difference. We believe that government matters and cities matter and that what we do here in San Francisco can serve as a model for not only the rest of the country, but the rest of the world. So whether you donate to Goodwill or to a drop-off location near your home, those unwanted textiles are of significant value. San Francisco, the environment, and the greater community will greatly benefit from them. Thanks to SF Environment and their partners, San Francisco has now over 100 drop-off locations for textiles, bringing them that much closer to their goal of zero waste by 2020. For drop-off locations near you, visit recycleware.org. Thanks for watching, and be sure to join us next time on What's Next SF. For more information on the textiles program, please visit sfenvironment.org slash textiles.